In this video, we will discuss about theory of slavery. According to Aristotle, slavery is natural as well as desirable. Slavery was an institution practiced in ancient Greece and there used to be two categories of state, slaves by nature and slaves by law. Slaves by nature are natural slaves and slaves by law are prisoners of war. Aristotle's theory focuses on slaves by nature. As according to him, nature has made two types of people, those who are masters by nature and those who are slaves by nature. According to him, those who are mentally strong are meant to be masters, while those who are physically strong are meant to be slaves by nature. According to him, we should understand the message of nature and believe in teleology, which is destiny-based. And as nature has made some people physically strong in order to perform physical work for longer duration, while those who are mentally strong, nature wants them to involve in that kind of work that requires reason. As those who are masters, they are supposed to take decisions and they must have reason and courage to face the implications of the same. In this context, Aristotle comes near to Plato who believes that these are the qualities of guardian class and Machiavelli also explains that a prince has to be clever like fox that is reason and brave like lion that is courage. According to him slavery is both natural and useful as according to him slavery is useful for economic system and those who are physically strong can work for longer hour. According to him it is also useful for state because its master has a slave to work for him. Master can afford to make a qualitative participation in affairs of state. It is further beneficial as slaves lack reason and courage and they require masters because they cannot live on their own. So according to Aristotle, in the company of good masters, slaves will develop some virtue and Aristotle has also suggested certain reforms as he was aware that slaves are not being treated properly and thus they should be taken care well by masters. According to him, if slaves develop virtues of reason and courage, by time they can be freed by masters. Now we will discuss the critical evaluation of this theory. So Aristotle has been criticized for justifying the institution of slavery even if he believes that slavery is natural. It must be emphasized that we are not living in a state of nature. Survival of the fittest may be the principle in nature but it can't be the principle of society. Socrates held that what is should not determine what ought to be and it must be vice versa. In contemporary times, no amount of utility of the institution of slavery can justify slavery and every person ought to be treated with respect and the principle of human dignity cannot be compromised. Immanuel Kant believes that each man is an end in itself and no one ought to treat the other person as a means to achieve their end. Each person has its own intrinsic value, thus no one can be treated as a means towards the end. And such a theory becomes the justification of myth like white man's burden, civilizing mission and benevolent despotism. So this is it about this video and thank you so much for watching.